Good evening. This is Henry Hushke back here today with day 18 of the COVID cast. It is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. And today's episode, unfortunately, uh, is going to be an, a shorter episode. I was hoping to get you some interviews, which I uh, conducted uh, and am conducting right now. But um, I am not going to have the time to be able to put that out today. So we will move our Talk Radio Tuesday to uh, tomorrow, Wednesday. It can be our, um, hmm, I'm not quite sure. I'll come up with a name by tomorrow, though. I'll guarantee you of that. And tomorrow's April Fool's Day, so I don't know. I don't know what that means. But maybe I'll have some other trick pulled up out of my sleeve. I'll pull something else out of my sleeve. Anyways, today with just a quick update for you, if we go to the Johns Hopkins case tracker, um, we're at 855,007 cases as of recording uh, worldwide. So um, basically what we're seeing is these worldwide containment efforts, uh, which are, um, I believe we're beginning to see kind of the uh, stemming of the exponential growth, but we're still going to be seeing extreme growth and we're going to see continued sustained growth. But I are, I do think we're starting to see uh, curve flattening occur here. Uh, the logarithmic chart uh, is starting to bend downwards, if I pull this up for you here. Uh, and I'll just show you the screenshot of kind of like the last uh, little period of time um, here on this chart. Uh, we're starting to just see an, uh, it go, move a titch downward, just a little bit downward. So uh, I'm feeling better that maybe uh, we are going to kind of stem the bleeding here, uh, per se. So I think that's a good sign, kind of a bullish sign in this data. Um, but the U.S. today, I believe, is going to register its highest new case count. Uh, and the state of Michigan continues to have uh, an explosion in cases, more new cases today than any other day. New York today reporting more uh, new cases uh, today than any other day. So, um, you know, we're still seeing growth and we're still going to see that growth. Again, as testing continues to come in even, uh, we still have a buildup of these cases that occurred a while ago that uh, maybe uh, didn't have the full effects of this uh, social distancing that our society is, uh, doing right now. Um, personally, um, I'm not quite sure where we go from here, but I do think that, uh, we're starting to see, we've seen some positive signs, but, uh, today's data is not as promising as the last few days, except for the fact that Italy was able to hold at that 4,000 level today of new cases, which, um, is, fairly good. Uh, we would have liked to have seen that come below 4,000, but it's. I think it's going to be a process for them to get down back into the three-digit new case numbers, although I am confident that they will get there s soon enough. Um, but, you know, we still have, we have a lot of time to go. It was another decrease today, at least, uh, or no, it actually increased by three cases, the number of new cases, but basically flat in Italy. So, yep, um, I hope everyone is continuing to stay safe, uh, continue to social distance. We still have a lot more to go with this. Uh, I know this is just a pretty brief update tonight, but I hope I can come back uh, with a very, very long episode tomorrow for April Fool's Day. So, uh, it's been an interesting month of March. Thank you so much for being with me for most of this month of March and listening. I hope you have a terrific Tuesday.